Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. And today I'm going to show you how to draw Iron Man using Copic markers. I am Iron Man. I miss Tony. I really, really do. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and get started with Iron Man. So I'm using my Cool 3 Copic Wide Marker to put down a rough sketch. And this is the reference that I'm using. It's one of my 7-inch uh, action figures, um, a Marvel action, Marvel Legends action figure. And um, I'm just simply using my C3 marker to put down a rough sketch. You don't have to use the wide marker. As you can see, I've switched to my regular Copic uh, Cool 3 sketch marker. And it's just putting in a nice rough under sketch. And this is a kind of term that you will hear painters use over time, like they put down an underpainting, meaning that the sketch is so rough and so light that it won't be seen in the final stages of the finished illustration. So here I'm going back to my Y Copic marker to kind of put in, mainly to kind of block in the shadows. And that's what you want to kind of do when you're thinking about roughing out and once again i'm referencing like my painting you know lessons and things like that and my painting education so i want to just block in the heaviest shadows of all so i'm using now the c5 marker um, and that puts in the darkest shadows where i can find on the figure now later on we'll go ahead and use the like a black pen like a copic multi-liner or a micron a pen to put in some of those uh, defined uh, outer lines of the figure. But for right now, I'm just trying to put in the heaviest shadows. So once you use your light marker, and you can use warm, you know, uh, markers or cool markers. I'm using the C, which means cool, markers for that. Um, and then you can go ahead and put in, use a darker tone like the C5, which I'm using right here to kind of fine tune and put in the heavier shadows. And I'm still kind of fleshing out like, okay, where do I want things to go? Now I'm using the C7, I'm going even darker. So once I've got the C3 down for the under sketch, the C5 to put in some more overall larger shadow areas, now I'm using the C7 to put in the darkest shadows. And this kind of thing just takes time. Um, as you're working as an artist, you'll figure out what tools to use. But always start light and then go to dark. All right, that's always highly recommended. And then here I can use my Copic Multiliner to lay in the hard, detailed uh, lines of Tony's helmet and things like that. This technique I learned from a book by Doug Chang. Doug Chang is a you know famous illustrator and concept designer working for Lucasfilm on all the Star Wars projects and I bought his book years ago and I always loved how he taught how to sketch out you know um, I guess inanimate objects um, but I've applied his technique to inanimate and animate objects so you know organic creatures um, armor, uh, costumes, vehicles, and Doug teaches in his book that, you know, start out with a light marker first to put down this under sketch, and then you go ahead and get darker and darker as it goes on and on. But yeah, it's he's a really cool designer, and I love the stuff that he's done on the Star Wars films and all the Lucasfilm projects over the years and things like that. But you can use any kind of... Uh, pen when you're using this uh, when you're at this stage right here here I'm just kind of just fleshing out the um, just all the hard lines and the hardest shadows on him and one thing I want you to keep in mind is that you don't even have to you know connect all the lines on your drawings I'm mainly sticking to the areas um, that are the darkest in the shadows you don't even have to connect all the lines. For example, any lines on the side of his face over here near the top left-hand side of the paper, 
I'm not even connecting those those uh, black lines because it kind of gives the illusion that there's that's where the brightest light is hitting the form. Next, I want to go ahead and continue using my darker markers such as the C5 or the C7. Uh, it doesn't matter whichever one um, you use, just so long as it shows up the details of the shadows. So I can switch back and forth between the C7 or the C5. And I want to just kind of put in the shadows of all the different technical components of Iron Man's helmet. And keep in mind that you don't have to really draw the specific outline of every single detail on his costume or any costume or any technical costume for that matter. If you can just stick to, you know, the kind of belief that you just want to give the illusion of it by simply adding in the shadows. Now I'm going to switch over to my Presto whiteout pens and I want to start putting in the highlights. This is my favorite part of the drawing because I get to make everything pop. Once you get that contrast on your drawings, everything just pops off the page that much more. And it doesn't matter which, you know, kind of whiteout tool you use, just as long as you use something that really makes it sing oh, you know that's my singing voice um you can use presto whiteout or i've even used like the sakura jelly roll pens or posca p-o-s-c-a posca white pens and things like that so um but one trick i do want you to kind of keep in mind is that you want to put your whiteout areas the whiteout marks in like the darkest areas of the um the costume and as you can see here, I'm fine tuning the outer edges of my whiteout areas. They got kind of blotchy. And so once I put it down, I can go ahead and use the black pen to kind of outline and make those edges kind of sharper. Not everywhere. And like here, as I mentioned before, I'm using my Jelly Roll white gel pen. And that kind of gets like the more of fine areas where the edges of the light hits it. And I think we're about getting ready to wrap this up. Put a few more render marks in there. And um, yeah, I think we're done. And there you have it. That's Iron Man. And for all my patrons out there, you can download the high res version of this drawing and the drawing template over on Patreon right now. When you join my Patreon, you get weekly access to my real time process videos high-res digital downloads of my drawings, and a monthly live drawing tutorial. So click the link in the description. And real quick, I want to give a shout out and thanks to one of my patrons and students, Jaden Brown, for digitally coloring my Iron Man piece. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, and three. This is only a test. I didn't even have it plugged up. Ah!